hello I will show you how to connect to enter server and how to share files okay so first you need to have an account with the enter server so let me access to my account As you see, I have uh, one v VBS that's ready. So if I click on my VBS and okay, so this is the IP address, the public IP address for my VBS, and this is the host domain. So now I can access uh, the VPS. In order to do that, I need to have to download Microsoft Remote Desk, where you can find it in the Apple Store. So let me type Microsoft. So this is the one, it's free. So once you download it, you can actually use it to, to connect yourself. So I have, this is my inter server. Uh, basically you need to create a new connection where you put, you would just write a name and here you put the IP address. Then you just keep it this way, the gateway, don't change it. Then you type the host name and the password. Password usually it's provided to you when you create an account with InterServer. So I have it here ready. Do I see edit? So this is my name, uh, my connection name. This is the PC host name or uh, the IP address where I find it. Get it from here from my account. I didn't use any gateway I have username usually it's administrator and as I mentioned before the password is provided by uh, inter server people when you create your account usually it's sent to you by an email so in order to uh, have you can share files and folders basically you need to create of any folder Put it anywhere for example I I have here a folder in my desktop let's call it uh, inter server share okay so then I go to redirection here you have you can actually share folders so basically you need to make sure that it's already checked enable folder redirection then you add any folder you you like so you can call it same thing a uh, share folder or inter server inter server it's called inter server inter server yeah so then you you select the path i have it here in my desktop let's have it yeah this is the one so as you as you see that this folder will be shared between your uh, local computer or local laptop and your server. So let's close it and let me double click here. And when you when you click, uh, you, it tells you that there is a shared folder connected between you, uh, your server and uh, somewhere else. So are you sure you would like to connect it? So when I say connect, continue. So I am in my server right now. And if I would like to go to the, uh, to see my shared folder, if I go there, as you can see, 
this is my shared folder it's available here so this is the one it's called inter server so as simple as that basically what you can do right now it's uh, you can actually add any file let's say for example I have uh, this file called print so I can just put it here and when I get back to my server I should get it actually let me get back so so as you see this is the print.docs it's now in the shared folder at the remote disk so basically you can drag it and drop it and it should be in your server same thing you can do it with the, the files that you have it in the server you can move it to the shared folder and see you have the new text uh, document with .txt which was available in my server let's say this is also a picture I can add it here you can add anything you can have your full folders with anything you have the thing the, the only thing that you will face probably is that when, when the file is big it probably is gonna take time to move it from your local disk to the server or from your server to your, your remote disk sorry from your to your local disk anyway uh, so if I open my shared folder I will see that these are the two files which they were on my server so uh, this is probably the easiest way of sharing folders and between your local uh, disk and your server uh, to be honest with you it took me some time to figure out this I tried to use different kind of softwares like FileZilla or Podi or different things I used a terminal to connect using SSH connection but really it didn't work I have different issues problems regarding the, the connections but I find finally I find this is probably the easiest way and simplest way it doesn't have any problem you don't have to remember any instructions or make sure that uh, to set some kind of configuration is very simple and I do really recommend anyone would like to share folders between his local disk and this, the remote uh, sorry the server to do it Thank you.